what's poppin babes so i'm not even gonna like apologize for my background because that seems to be um a routine for me in all my videos i'm i am gonna apologize for my nails though because i'm in the process of getting them off but, but yes i am back again with another video with you um if you're new to my channel thank you for checking me out make sure to subscribe if you enjoy leave a comment tell me how you feel you know and then for all my faves welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here um so today i am going to show you guys how to be a perfect student um i mean i'm talking about a perfect student well i guess yeah teach you guys how to be a perfect student you know and how to pass online classes that's what i'm really going to teach you guys um so like the struggle with online classes right now is like it's new to everybody and it's literally like i mean i don't know how everybody's school is doing it my school i guess you could take classes in person i saw people with backpacks and i was really jealous but as far as me like my classes were originally supposed to be in person and got switched to online which i was so disappointed about because i really wanted the in-person classes but you know you got to do it sometimes so just to give you guys a little background so you guys are like why should i believe you um i literally skipped a grade and i took straight online classes like in order to skip my grade and like if it, it was different than how it is now because it was more organized like the classes were already supposed to be online and everything so you know it was all there and then um like literally you didn't have to do zoom or nothing like that's all like very like today day and age but yeah so i am um, pretty like known like i know how to do online classes and no matter how much i hate them though like i do know how to do it and i do know how to pass so keep watching if you want to know how to pass okay so i didn't really do steps like how i would usually do for a video because this one i'm kind of gonna go off my head sorry guys i really had to just go check my notes real quick because sometimes i do like write notes when i know i want to do a video this one i don't really have any though so it's whatever but um this these tips will work for any level online whether it's like elementary school or like college level these tips will work and probably for like elementary middle if those are online you probably won't need to do like as much as you would need to do for like high school college but whatever just continue to listen so my first first tip is to get a calendar or get a planner in my case i have both a calendar and a planner so here's my planner my 2021 planner i just got this one so i'm pretty happy about it i love the color black so i'm like eh, sleep but sometimes like i wish i could show you guys like my old planners um I have one over there but i'm like i don't feel like any of it. it's like a marble one but it's really smaller i like planners with like space to write in like make sure your planner has space like this gives me space for the days plus in the back there are notes i love to use the notes in my planner more for like just planning like my life but this one has so much note space so i like literally love it but yeah get you a nice planner i like the bigger ones versus the smaller ones the one i had before was a little smaller it's harder to write and everything so just get you a planner that you could see and that you could keep around though like this i mean i can't really put it in my purse but i could put it in a backpack if i want to travel with it or simply just hold it it doesn't matter but so get a cat i mean a planner or slash and you could get a calendar i have a calendar too and this is where okay so on my calendar actually i'm just gonna tell you guys in a few seconds but this is my calendar i have just like full dates it's just a full calendar of the year and it's big okay like a big flat calendar i'm like just to show you guys it's like big wide but yeah so i keep this like right by my bed and then like my planner and then also of course you need a laptop it doesn't have to be a macbook all you really need is like a laptop or you could use a desktop but literally like i used to like go to the school library which i don't think you can really do anymore that much but i know they still offer it for like people who don't like have laptops so go like go to like the library or the public library don't know if it's open but hopefully but and then just like use a computer there i used to like literally submit my work from that all the time and sometimes like you need a printer so a laptop isn't like too handy or clutch but yeah definitely having like a personal computer and if you don't just any computer because like you'll need a computer to do your work but that's like the only reason why honestly i like to use paper like i don't even really like like i hate the fact that that's online because like you have to submit stuff online and everything but i like literally don't want to do that like i just like to write on paper i love paper you know 
So that is definitely step number one. <clears throat> All right, step number two is to really stay organized. This one is going to be hard for a lot of people who aren't like normally organized and like are usually like messy with schoolwork and like always missing assignments and everything. But it will help you in the long run. And if you really do want to be successful in your online class, you really do have to um, stay organized. And this is not only with like the work you do, but also with like keeping track of dates and everything. So let's get in depth a little so for my calendar i write my dates for all my work due so my tip for when your online class starts actually before your class starts they should give you a syllabus this is like for college students mainly because i don't even remember having a syllabus or nothing in high school but they might give you like a calendar of like when your exams are your homeworks due so definitely definitely look at that calendar the calendar the teacher gives you is so important and it's vital for your success because you will be ahead of the game if you are paying attention to those due dates and everything that's going on so when i get my syllabuses or my calendars for my class soon as i get into the class like before class day even starts i go through the entire syllabus and it's like you don't have to be too too like to the t like but just know what's up you know so then i take this calendar which i use this calendar like only for school stuff i use my planner for like everything like all right like today film a youtube video or today you have to do this and that but um i mainly just oh and i also 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 if you don't want to do any of like if you can't or you don't want to just use your phone notes and then your phone calendar i use those for everything too i'm the type of person that i literally have like 12 calendars i need everything like i write the same things on each one because like i need the reminders but some people don't need that much so it's like you don't have to do that much but um definitely use some type of calendar so i use this calendar and i literally write down everything like here i have homework due exam speech due homework speech and homework so this is like only for my school so when i look at this like i can see like if something's written like okay i know something's coming if there's nothing i know i'm t good because i looked at the syllabus and i wrote down the dates before the class and i literally have it marked for every month there we go this is march um and then i think my classes only go to april so yeah they're not even in june so damn damn it i can't get the page damn me oh my gosh okay hold on i just need to focus <laughs> okay i got it so april is the last of my months so yeah, definitely, definitely mark your calendar with syllabus dates. And I also have like my classes and class times also because you know, you never know if you need the reminder. Like most times you do need the reminder. So take, have a calendar that you mark up from your syllabus or your class calendar. Y'all, yeah, there's something I really wanted to say and I freaking forgot. Yeah. Okay. So next, really um, have good communication skills too. Like, even though your class is online, if you have to miss a class, shoot your email a text. I mean, shoot your teacher an email. Or if anything, like, just make sure you're really, like, staying up to date and being persistent. Because even though classes are online, that's even, like, a better shot at letting the teacher get to know you. Because a lot of people aren't going to show up and a lot of people aren't going to do their work and stuff. So it's, like, be the one that shines. Like, a teacher will always appreciate somebody who puts in effort over, like, people who don't. Because there are so many people who don't put in effort. It's, like, even if you do the slightest thing, it's, like, you're putting in more effort than somebody else who is doing nothing. So always always do that um also try to attend your class i mean if you have the option like you have the option you don't have to i mean even sometimes i don't have the option it's mandatory and i don't go i'm not even gonna pretend like i'm a perfect perfect student because i'm not but try to definitely definitely um put in that extra effort to just be there and to like get your work done and just be present get, like familiar with emailing sending emails um whether it's to your teachers to your classmates everybody like you're gonna definitely have to start getting comfortable with sending emails also a lot of classes like students will make like a group chat or something join those group chats that will definitely help because people will sometimes send answers or people will be like hey like y'all finished that work y'all know it's due at 11 59 right so it's like yes yes sometimes it's like a good like little reminder it can get aggravating but it's like whatever and that's like your best bet at meeting people too like especially the classes being online 
um and yeah just stay up to date really just know what's up like even though we write down all the work from the on the syllabus the calendars and everything teachers can still change dates teachers can still change when stuff is due so really just stay up to date and stay persistent with that um also i'm like trying to think like is there any any anything else okay ma'am yes do your work ahead do work ahead if that's an offer for you or like if you have the opportunity to do the work ahead do it ahead i promise i promise i promise it will save you the pain of doing work last minute or doing anything especially when it's online because apparently teachers are not having forgiveness anymore like they're like i don't care your time everything you know it was online blase blase so it's like just make sure do your work do it ahead of time if you can and if you can't just do it on time at least on time and i mean in the modeling world on time is late but like in the school world it built i got it in so whatever and then my last tip is to just take time to remind yourself that it isn't easy like it's not nothing's gonna be easy and it's nothing that you're used to unless you were taking classes online already or you just don't care but yeah it's definitely something new for everybody so take time to remind yourself that remind yourself that you're not going to be perfect but you can try your hardest and that's all that matters but thank you guys for checking out this video i really really hope it helps you um i am on my way i'm about to get my aa and i've yeah i've pretty much excelled in school for a while i i like school though like i really do so that's what really sucks about this like and then being online and everything i feel like i'm losing that school connection because everyone's just like yeah the answers are online and it's like yeah but like i like to learn so it's like it really sucks for me but like um it is what it is it's whatever so yeah thanks for checking out this video i hope you guys enjoyed drop below if you have any other you know tips that can help out or drop below how you're doing or what classes you're taking what grade you're in anything i want to know about you guys so just let me know thank you guys for watching